Hey, welcome to another lesson in Adobe After Effects. You're actually looking at Premiere Pro right now. Uh, I'll get to that in just a moment. The One of the things that separates the Adobe products from any other suite or collective of products are the interactivity between the programs. And what I'm going to show you now is, is how to use Premiere Pro as your main editing and then take it into After Effects and edit the footage, color correct it, you know, add text add you know just different effects any of that kind of stuff um, so the workflow would be that you would import your footage into Premiere Pro you would edit it you would get it all ready to go and you would not export it out you would just leave it just like you see it here now this is the uh, the shinedown project from um, a couple weeks ago and what you would do is you just go ahead and highlight all of your workspace your entire area I'm just gonna zoom out so I can make it faster so I'm gonna highlight all of that I'm gonna hit control C to copy I'm going to go over here to After Effects now, create a new composition. It is NTSC DV widescreen, shine down, and I am going to click. Then I'm going to change my time settings. I'm just going to go ahead and put it up to about five minutes just to be safe. Um, I don't know exactly how long the footage is, but we will. I'll show you how to change that once you have it in. Now, a basic composition setup nothing input at this point I'm gonna click down here in my timeline I'm gonna hit control V it's gonna take a second and what it's gonna do is it's going to bring in the main videos and then it's gonna bring in the edits so all of my edits are right here everything is exactly where it was in the same space and ready to go now I'm just gonna hit S and scale these down just a little bit so that it fills the whole window and S is your shortcut for scale now I've got everything set I'm going to drop this down to quarter and I'm going to skip five frames. And the reason I'm doing that is so I can see more in my RAM preview. It doesn't affect the output, it just allows you to be able to see more um, as, you, as you're editing. Now, what's happened is each one of these video clips are a different layer. And as you can tell, the layers aren't the same size. So I'm going to go back in here real quick and click here and scale that back up to 100%. sure we're good there. I'm just going to drag it in a little bit. Let's see. Let's get it back to 100. And there we go. It's full screen now. Now I will have to do that for every clip that has the that's the shine down tape. But now I know that it needs to be at 90%. So I'll just click here. 90. I'm just going down to where it's shine down tape. 90 do that for all of those. Now I could have clicked, held copy, clicked all the shine down tapes and done them all at one time, uh, but I wanted to take my time and make sure that I did it right as well as I didn't think about it until after I started doing it. So let's just go ahead and do that now. Oh, of course on the last one. So there we go. Now I'm going to go back and check the other clips. That clip looks fine. Let's see. And then this would be the third one. So yes, we're good on all on the size on all of these. Now, the beautiful thing about After Effects and, and its interaction with Premiere Pro is exactly what you just saw. The fact that I could copy and paste the all of the edits in there, and they're exactly the same. If I hit RAM Preview and let that run through, the edits are going to be the exact same as they were in Premiere Pro. And there is no edit time. There's no render time. It literally takes it, copies, pastes. Now, it won't do your transitions and all that for the most part but you can do those manually now what I'm gonna do is just show you a couple of quick things that I do to just about every video and, and just with a color correction and we're gonna talk about an adjustment layer so the first thing I'm gonna do is just go through and just check out the clips make sure that there's nothing that's really crazy you know for example this one's a little bit red so I'm gonna introduce you to my friend color correction go to effects and presets let that load up now what you're trying to do is trying to get a, a the same look throughout all the clips. Now you, there's again was shot with three cameras in three separate locations, and it just it doesn't look good when you have three separate colors. So color correction, and I'm going to use curves is what I need to use curves. Now curves can get crazy on you if you don't really know what you're doing but you guys are going to be good and know what you're doing here in just a moment. I'm going to drag that right there on top of that layer and it gives me this here. Now curves basically you can adjust the red, green, and blue, the RGB of every video layer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click here on this channel. 
going to go to red. I'm just going to drop the reds a little bit. And as you see, it kind of got rid of some of that red. I'll bring a little bit more out. Fill his jacket a little bit more. Just bring the whole level down. And I'm going to now copy this curves. Control C. I'm going to go to every shine down tape, holding down Control. Because again, they were all shot on the same camera. So I'm going to now hit Control V. And if I go to any of these layers, so right here, it's going to have a cleaned up, got a little bit of green in there. I'm not too worried about that. It looks a little, you know, it looks like the red's been pulled out a little bit, which is fine. So now I'm going to go up here to the next clip. I'm going to go to clip three here. And that one looks okay. It's a little white. This one's a little dark. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to do brightness and contrast. Drop that right on there. Push the brightness a little bit so that it looks more similar to these two. Okay. So again, copy brightness and contrast. and go find all the untitleds hit control V and now they're all set and I'm going to save my work because I haven't done it yet alright so now we've got everything squared away everything you know, it looks as good and balanced as it can at this point. And again, you could spend hours and hours and days working on making sure that these things look the way we think that they should. Um, and that's and that's what a, an editor would do. An editor would go through and try to balance out these shots and make them all look very similar, um, if not look identically the same. So, what you have now, you have all of those edits done. <clears throat> Going to go in and do the whole music video thing. Shine down. Double click it to make to be able to adjust the text color, the font color there. And change that font. I don't like that it's got the now notice when I went from the big bold impact font to Harrington how hard it became to see. When you're doing video, you have to make sure that you have a bold font. You can't ha you can't get too cute with the font and make it real skinny and, and, and just, you know, ugly and not bold, because if it's not bold you're not going to see much of it. So there's shine down. Now I'm going to, because I want to keep the font and all that the same, I'm going to hit control D on that layer. And sound of madness. I'm going to click here, move that down a little bit, line it up. Make it look real good. Now I'm going to double click. I'm going to click there, holding down control, and I'm going to make both of them a little smaller because they fill up too much space and readjust this and I think that that's good now what I'm gonna do is come to about right here I'm gonna hit control shift D to essentially whoop, wrong selection there control shift D to cut off those ends now I'm going to zoom in here and you'll remember this from the animation stuff I'm gonna set the opacity keyframe to drop it down to zero and bring it up to 100. I'm going to go back here on the back end, set another keyframe. Now, to set a keyframe without adjusting anything, you just click this little diamond here and then you can go forward and I'm going to drop it down to zero. And I'm going to copy these keyframes. Control C again to copy. I'm going to click on this layer, Control V, and there it comes in. I notice it doesn't look as good during the playback because, again, you're playing it at quarter resolution. Now, rarely do videos just start with a with a full-on, you know, full roar. So I'm going to create a new layer, a new solid. It's going to be black. I'm going to call it Vignette. And I'm going to use the Vignette to kind of hide some of the rough edges on the video as well as create that center circle opening that goes from black screen to 
the uh, actual video. So I'm going to click on the tool, shapes tool, go to the clip ellipse tool and double click it. Now it's going to create a mask and you can see behind the mask here the area that's actually the video. If you go down here to mask and you click subtract it's going to flip that mask around so you can see the center. Now twirl down the mask here and I'm going to keyframe mask expansion and mask feather and I need to put these up to the beginning and I am going to draw that mask all the way in and again not paying attention to what I'm doing didn't have my playhead set in the right spot so I'm going to draw that mask all the way in and leave the feather there I'm going to come to here I'm going to pull that mask back out pull it way out as well as push that feather and what you want with a vignette is you want it to be there but not be seen. You want it to just kind of be one of those things that people don't really notice. So now I'm going to click here. I'm going to go back up to full road so you can see the effect that we just created. I'm going to turn this. There we go. And RAM preview that through. And you'll notice that it kind of has that Warner Brothers effect of, of the, the center circle coming out with with a hard fast video it gives you that transition time so like in real time maybe here we go there it is okay so that's how you use Premiere Pro and After Effects together so you're going to use your shine down projects from earlier tie them in together make them you know you've you've already done all the editing what I will tell you is that to go through um, the After Effects project and remove all of the transitions you put in, not the After Effects project, sorry, the Premiere Pro project, and remove all the transitions that you put in and, and dump it into After Effects and have a good time. And again, you can, all the things that you've done to animate with your shapes, you can do to these videos. You want to rotate it? You can rotate it. You want to make it fade in? You can do that. You can do all of those things. So get creative, have fun with this, and uh, I can't wait to see what you guys create.